Hello, Mr. Pepperell here, and in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about electrical power and how it relates to potential difference. By the end of this video, you should understand the uh, relationship between electrical power and energy, how we can calculate electrical power, and what the unit of electrical power is. So, when you use an electrical device, such as this hairdryer, what it does is it transforms electrical energy, which is obviously going into it through the wire there, into other types of energy. So the hairdryer, for example, transforms that electrical energy to kinetic energy and the fans going around and that moves the air. And also you're transforming electrical energy into heat because you've got a heater in here, which is transforming electrical energy into heat energy and it blows the hot air out the front. Okay, now... The rate at which it transforms that energy is actually the power. And we have actually calculated power before. If you remember, we used this calculation here that says that power is equal to energy divided by time. And if you recall as well, you'll remember that power is measured in watts. So watts are the unit of power. Energy is measured in joules and time is measured in seconds. OK, so, for example, you know, we could do a little uh, calculation here. A machine transfers a 100 joules of energy. Uh, energy in 10 seconds what is its power all i need to do to calculate that is i divide the energy which was the 100 joules by the time taken which was 10 seconds so 100 divided by 10 is going to tell me that the power of that machine is 10 watts but here we go what's actually going on when this energy is transferred that's what we need to think about next well, whenever you turn on a device like the bulb that I've got in this circuit here, millions of electrons flow from the power supply through the circuit through the bulb. They start to flow through it, and every single one of these electrons, as it goes through the bulb, transfers a tiny amount of energy. Now, the more electrons that flow through, because each of them is transferring a little bit of energy, the more electrons that flow, the more energy gets transferred. Okay? So you can see that if there was a higher current flowing through the bulb, and remember current is the rate of flow, then there would be more charge flowing through the bulb every second. A higher current just means that the electrons are going through faster, each one of them delivering a little bit of energy. Okay, you could also think about the fact that if we have a little look here, we can see that if there's a higher potential difference across this appliance, so by remember potential difference is difference between one side and the other side okay so if there's a higher potential difference across the appliance more energy would be transferred to it by each coulomb of charge because potential difference is the energy transfer per coulomb of charge so if those coulombs of charge are flowing past faster okay if each one of them has got more energy the bulb is going to get more energy so from this we can start to see that there is actually another way to calculate electrical power okay if the current is higher the energy is going through and getting there quicker. If the potential difference is higher, each charge that goes through is carrying more energy. So by increasing both of those two, you're increasing the amount of energy the bulb gets. Okay, And we know that energy is related to power. So by multiplying the rate of flow of charge, or the current, by the amount of energy each coulomb of charge is transferring, or the potential difference, we can work out the power supplied to a device, okay? And of course, again, we've got power there measured in uh, watts, we've got current measured in amps, and we've got potential difference measured in volts. And of course, I can summarize that equation there quite simply just by saying P is equal to I multiplied by V. And also, if I needed to, I could rearrange that equation in any way I wanted just by uh, putting it into the triangle and, you know, covering up the one I want. So if I wanted to work out voltage, I can do power divided by current, for example. So let's just try that very quickly with a little example here. Um, what is the power supplied to a 3 amp 12 volt motor? Well, in this case, I'm trying to work out the power. So I cover up my power. I'm going to do current multiplied by voltage. So so my uh, calculation here is going to be um, 3 amps, because I'm getting that from the question, multiplied by 12 volts gives me 36 watts, watts being the unit of power. Right, so let's see if we can do the math on this one. The problem says to me, what is the current through a 500 watt heater that's connected to the UK mains? So I'm trying to work out current. I know it's a power problem. So my first thing is I get my triangle drawn and I think, right, what am I going to have to work out here? They're asking me for the current. OK, so I look at my triangle, scribble out the current there, and I can see that I need a number for power and a number for voltage. But if I look at my question, yeah, I've got my power number, but I haven't got a voltage number. Well, here's the clue. You need to actually recall a little bit of knowledge here. 
the clue is UK mains because what they're telling me is it's connected to the UK mains and hopefully you'll remember that the UK mains is actually 230 volts. So now I've got the two things I need. I've got a power number and I've got a potential difference number. I can actually rearrange my equation. I can see that it's power divided by potential difference. That's the equation I'm going to use to give me my current. So I can see my equation now is current equals power divided by potential difference. All I need to do is substitute in my figures. I substitute my figures in there. I've got um, power of 500 watts divided by potential difference of 230 volts to give me a current of 2.2 amps through the heater. So that is what we need to know about electrical power and potential difference. Any problems at all with that, don't hesitate to tweet me at Mr. Underscore Pepperell or email me and I'll get straight back to you. Thanks for stopping by.